I was scared to show everyone vulnerability. Mm, I didn't course. want everyone to know that I was going through something. So I always like keep it in a in a dark room. To believe that you know that there are lots of kids yes. who don't have parents and who need to take care of. So I don't want to look a bit more mature because I'm already 27. Believe it or not. Okay. Yes. Diba normally, Mads, when you have a relationship, you shouldn't make papa tattoo. Diba? I don't it, have that. You don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that. Okay. It's really just the mindset, dog, na just, you know, like, accept what it is that life is gonna offer you, that life is gonna give True. you. You can't really, um, what do you call it? You can't plan everything. You're right. Because everything is already sleeping. Because, because you know, Mads, I mean, I'm married. Yeah. And, um, if there's an advice I can give you, is it's better that you're with someone that you're friends with. Yeah. Diba? And you know, it's, actually, it's really diba? It's really and different. if the person is someone you can't live without, that's also yeah. something special. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I believe this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Diba? I believe it. Oh. Dr. Ivy is naturally thin and doesn't do anything <laughs> to maintain her weight, believe it or not. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> well, they actually didn't. Um, I never exercised my whole life. Um, I just really tried to be active at work and I just tried to really uh, be a little bit more conscious about what I eat. Yeah. But I never really had to work out. But now that I'm in my 40s, then during the pandemic, I, don't, I felt that I had to do something for myself. Every time I see someone like that <laughs> with such toned body, because you can be thin but not toned. Eh. Yeah. And I want to be toned. I want to build my core. Um, this year, I started uh, doing a little bit of workout. Uh, and I feel better knowing that I'm actually taking care of myself, yeah. and I should, and I think that's important. And that generates happy hormones. Oh, see, the back. And also, yes, I also um, am conscious about what I eat, so I do doctor food. I, I've been on doctor food for the past um, almost a year now, and I feel healthier knowing that I eat healthy, and I also eat uh, what's right, yeah. and I'm really conscious of what I put in my body. Yeah, because we shouldn't abuse our body. We only have That's, one body, yes. the back, and it's our responsibility to, to take care of our own body. Yeah. So the reason why I love working out is also because you know, like working out, like it generates because a happy hormone. So I always work out in the morning. So I start my day with a workout. How many How many minutes do you work out? Um, usually one and a half to two. Oh, okay, hours. a day. On your own? Yeah. On your own? At, at home? The, at the, uh, in the morning. What workouts do you do? Uh, weightlifting. Yeah. Weightlifting? Really? And I run, yeah. Ah, Cardio. wow. And then your food? Do you My you... food, actually... <laughs> so should you I mention? I, I, I have a meal plan. Okay. Yeah. But you eat? You I eat. Because I, I think a lot of people are um, are asking whether do you do you eat carbs? I still eat a lot. I still eat a lot. Yeah. But as much as possible, like I stick to my, to my yes. um, meal. Yeah, but you know, I I, I I had dinner with Nadine uh, a few months yeah. back, and when every time she's in the clinic, she eats. Yeah, yeah, she eats. So yeah. people who think that Nadine doesn't eat, I eat a lot. Yeah, she eats. Yeah, she. Can I feel like eat. also because food is like, if I want to feel happy or if yes. I'm you know if there's something that's um that's like pulling me down and I feel sad or I feel a bit sick. Yeah, it's really food. I go out and I eat. Like I eat at my favorite restaurant. But do you eat like meat, desserts, yes. carbs? You do. <laughs> you do. Yeah. yeah. So you can eat but still have this yeah. body. Nadine credits her toned body on diet, exercise, and IV clinic. Believe it or not. Of course I believe it. Deba. Yay. Yes. For my shoots for H and M. Oh my gosh, thank you, Doc. <laughs> I know, grabe. She's so she was so fit and yeah. so toned. No, especially last year, because when we got back from Brazil. I wasn't eating properly. It's like shooting. Yes, so yes. we're tired. Like there's no um what do you call it? There's no right to be picky. Cause yes. ano lang meron dun, syempre, that's all we can eat. So I didn't get to diet at all. Like, really? I couldn't work out. Yeah. I get to I got to work out, but I couldn't work out every day when I was there. Cause um I was jet lagged, tired from yes. the shoot, and um, also the schedule of the shoot. So sometimes like I would rather sleep. Yeah. Then wake up early and then gym. But you really prepared for your, you know, the about for your shoot. I kind of like a week. Yeah. Oh, but I remember you would come here for your M scar, yeah. your two scar. Yeah. Yeah. Because exactly I really wasn't eating. Yeah. Healthy, so. I know. But Nadine, because when she puts her mind into it, she really does it. Yeah. So disciplined. Yeah. When she needs to be. When I need yes. To be. When I want to. Be. Yeah. When you want to be. Yeah. All right. But I'm changing that. I why? <laughs> no, I just I wanted to be 
consistent. Yes. Consistency. That's the, oh, that's the word I know. Here. You're right. Oh, that's, that's part my of, word. For that's part of ano, para evolving yes. as a person. Dr. Ivy and Dr. Z have traveled to all of the continents except Antarctica. Believe it or not. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, said, no, it is. Yes, yes, I haven't been. I haven't been to Antarctica. Wait, wait. But wait. it says all of the continents. Para hindi pa. Except Antarctica. Hindi pa. Marami pa akong gusto. Ang hirap naman na itong... Oo nga. Grabe naman ako nilang pahirapan si Nadine. Ang dami ko pang hindi na pupuntahan na. Yes, there's a lot of places What? I want to visit. Okay, yeah. so the next time you travel, where would you want to go? I mean, I ha- well, I want to go, I want. I haven't been to uh, New Zealand. Although I've been to Australia, but I haven't been to New Zealand. I want to bring the kids there. Yeah, it's it's beautiful, beautiful, diba? I haven't been in certain, I mean, I've only been to South Africa. I want to go to other African countries. Um, and I haven't explored the Middle East also. Mm-hmm. And certain parts of... I haven't been to Iceland. I haven't been to Antarctica, yeah. which is also a place we, we want to go as a family. We're very adventurous. Yeah. Diba? Ikaw na, do you think that I'm a lot? Uh, used to. Used to, but, but... Well, because so many things I have to do. Yeah. I mean, I have to do so. Yeah. If I get a chance to travel, like Where, out of the yes. country, I'd want to go to Egypt. Ah, uh, Egypt. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I haven't been. Egypt also. I just want to see Exotic there. talaga itong si Nadine. Yes. Oh, yung mga choices na is really... Yeah. Or the Amazon. Yes. I know. I, I haven't no, been... Peru. There, I haven't been or to Peru. South America. Yeah. I haven't been. Alright, let's talk about skin. Okay. Since uh, we're gonna do skin treatments. So Nadine's number one skin concern is looseness of the skin. Believe it or not. Of course, of course I, believe, know I know this. <laughs> I believe it. I, I, I always remember Nadine, it's so loose. It's so loose. Look at my neck, it's so loose. She always pulls her cheeks and pulls her neck. Yeah. And she's always so concerned. It's like, okay, I have, but it's not too much. It's so loose. Yeah. Yeah. No, because, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it's really like a thing with, with the family. Because I noticed that even my siblings, they have lines on the neck. Yes. And, um, yeah, so I'm really just obsessed with, uh, with I know. skin tightening. No, and I'm happy because I'm able to really do a lot of treatments for Nadine and she's so game and, yeah. and she's tried, I think, almost no, everything. Yeah. Skin tightening at the clinic. Yeah. And but but it's, it is, yeah, 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 and it's so nice because hey, you just want to try everything and it works. How would you know if it works if you don't try it? Deba, you're right. I saw a video of you, Nads, but I, um, a few years ago, but I'm chubby chubby, but now, yeah, I yeah, feel like that's the reason why I'm also like I'm obsessed with it because this talaga was like my number one problem. Yeah, like, every time I would smile, it's like well, <laughs> so sabi talaga no, please. I know. I want to do something about it. <laughs> I know, but she's always so easy. Yeah. I never her something. Okay, I'll try it. Yeah. I'll do it. Oh my god, <laughs> this is this is pretty obvious. Oh, okay, I feel like I, I believe this. If Dr. Ivy wasn't a doctor, she would have been a fashion designer. Oh. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> I know, I mean, I, I love clothes, I love dressing up. Yeah. Um, actually, I like fashion and interior design. So uh, there's always that artistic side of me. Yeah. And I feel that it's also self-expression. Yeah. I mean, Nadine also. I, so did I, you want to be a fashion designer? I would have wanted to be a fashion designer. So it's it's, it's very obvious. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. And of course, Kelly also. I know. I know. Dresses. I think she loves fashion yeah. also. Yeah. But Nadine also. I, we always talk about her fashion I know. also. Right? I know. Because Nadine's fashion is very, you know, it's different. It's a bit boyish. Yeah, a little boyish. Which, actually, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's nice to have a variation. It's been a boyish look. Really? So. I think that's your appeal. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, ito naman, let's go fashion. Okay. So, Nadine works with more than five fashion stylists for her personal style. Believe it or not. Do you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> you have the answer. I know. <laughs> Why not? I believe it. Okay. Diba? I'm sure for really big shoots, yeah. you need a lot of yes. uh, help. Diba? No, it's hard. Uh, but um, surprisingly, for my music video shoot, I only had one. Really? Talaga? 50 plus looks. What? In one? In, in one? one in with a, one stylist. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's actually Lynn, the stylist for our really? mega shoot. Wow. She was the one who styled me for that. Oh, that was she's amazing. Really? I'm sure she's amazing. She's amazing. For... Shout out to Lynn. Oh. Oh, Sana, I, I hope I can work with you. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Ivy wishes to be a fur parent to a cat. Oh, okay. All right. Do you believe, Nads? 
<laughs> Parang no, because you have so many dogs. I feel like you're a dog person. Yeah, you're right. Really? I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat okay. person. So <laughs> she's right. Gonna, yeah. That's right. Yeah. But you, are you a cat person? Do you have a cat? I had a cat. Okay. Um, so it, it got old man and then just it went missing. So I, we feel like. <laughs> so now dog nala. I am a dog nala. I mean, I would love to get another cat. Oh, really? I mean, I would love to get a cat. It's just that, like, one is is too much. One is it's too much. much. I know it's hard. I have we have eighteen dogs. You have, eight, you have a lot of dogs. I Super. But I mean, just Super. one. Because now, I mean, this year, cause I said dog. I told myself I was gonna, you know, push for independence. So oh. um, my yeah. assistant, like. She only comes to my place like every weekends the huh? So every weekdays it's just me and my brother really? and my dog. So my so, dog So no one no one cleans your house? No, she does. Okay. But, or when, when I when I need to do something, okay. she comes over. Okay. But I told her because I, I really wanna be I really wanna learn oh. how to be independent this year. So she's so supportive the man. We, we we still see her um, a lot. So like the the last couple of days, like she's She's back as now, but um, the last four, four or five days, <laughs> morning I wake up six thirty because my dog wakes me up, oh, so yeah, I can take him downstairs. Oh, so you don't take so him out. out. So what? I have to walk, walk him outside, like let him do his business, and then go back upstairs, feed him, huh? and then go to the gym. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's and then around like before lunch bring him back downstairs again and then go back up and then feed him again and then at night same thing like um around seven o'clock go down feed him it, it, work. walk him outside and then feed him oh wow so yeah. it's just having I one know. pet i know that's a, that's, a, one that's a handful already it is and you know so one thing about nadine I'm, I'm so surprised i'm so amazed with her because she drives herself <laughs> everywhere you know, she parks her car. She'll say, she'll say wait, uh, I'll, I'll drive myself. How do you drive? Yeah. I remember one time she got caught during the, yeah. <laughs> during yeah. the COVID, yeah. right? Because she missed a turn. I because... missed the turn because I was going to the turn. So. Yeah, I know. And because she's like that. She's so yeah. independent. She does her own thing. No fuzz. Uh, she, she, it's just herself and her car. Yeah. No, 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 no other people. Yeah. So that's what I like about her. She's like super normal, super independent. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like it. I don't know yeah. why. It's weird, but no, I like it's, it. it's nice. It's you know, like you're so I enjoy going to the grocery by yourself. I enjoy, yeah, by myself. By yourself. I yeah. enjoy um, what else? Just walking around and you know buying. But but, but Matt, well, since you're uh, a celebrity, naman, Do you find it difficult? Because like you're by yourself and people recognize you or hindi ba mahirap kasi diba parang like sometimes when you're driving by yourself and then diba I don't know I, or you, you go to the grocery by yourself kasi diba you're, 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 everybody knows you yeah but I mean that's why I'm really I'm really thankful that we have the mask <laughs> <laughs> you know going out it's so much easier it has been easy for I, I'm sure for most celebrities yes. because no one recognizes so, so no one barely People still <laughs> recognize me, pero sobrang bihira nila. I mean, people who recognize me, those are probably like the diehard fans. Yes. But, you know, like, good eye. I know, kasi diba, I mean, people want a photo, yeah. diba? People at the grocery, like, well, I, I, love, I love going to the grocery. Oh, I don't know why. You enjoy it. I enjoy it. I love cooking, I love cleaning. So you, you drive yourself to the grocery, you you, you get your things and you yeah. cook your... Oh, diba, my goodness, yeah. what, what a girl. I love it. My goodness, and she, she walks her dog, she... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Doctora Ivy never misses a Bible study with Doctor Z. Believe it or not. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, I think yeah. Yeah. I believe it. I know Zika say is annoying. Um, she he he really puts a lot of um, talagang importance on spiritual. Yeah. So um, so as a family, we try to raise our kids in a in a more parang spiritual way, so that they will be molded and guided as they get older. Yeah. And at the same time. Um, it's also one of our bonding moments with the kids yeah. and with Z. Yeah. So it's something we love to do. That's nice. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Okay, Nadine had rhinoplasty. Believe it or not. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do people keep insisting that I had my nose done? I guess because, you know, though, I feel like. It's it's the puberty. It's it's growing. It's the growing up that really um, made it look. But I, it's real. I know. I, I, I believe Nadine. I mean, I should know. I, I'm her 
doctor. She was, I don't know. So I don't believe that you had rhinoplasty. I've seen Nadine when she was younger. Yeah. And it's the same dog. I know it's the same dog. It's really, yeah. it is. She she did not, she had, well, you should say it. I, I really, I really don't understand, you know, people who keep calling me retogada. <laughs> because they, they think that I got my nose and I really didn't get my nose done. But but you can believe whatever you want to believe, but I'm telling you now, <laughs> and I'm not lying to you, that I've never got it. I, I never had my nose done. Yes, I have to I agree. Want, I'd like to, like, but I don't know. I, it's okay. No, you don't so need like, it. Because your nose yeah. is nice. Yeah. Your nose, and I mean, I've thought about it yes. a lot of times. Yes, yes, yes. You're right, you're right. I would talk about it. I would consult the dog, but like, but at the end of the day, it's like, no, I mean, it's, it, it looks good, it's okay, so... Yeah, I tell Nadine, you know, Nadine, you look good. Yeah. I think your nose fits your fits yeah. your whole look. Yes. I don't want it to look too strong. Yeah. And I think you're just so beautiful yeah. as it is. <laughs> so she did not do her nose. I feel like it's because I lost a lot of weight. You're right. Diba you're right. It's it's really just this. I know. Feeling ko nung nawala to, everything else, like, yes. must not defy it. And then, of yes. course, like, I grew older. Right. Um, things like your your facial features and everything about your body it gets more defined as you grow older. So Agreed. I don't know why. At least it's good you clarified it also. Yeah. You next. I know that's true. People ask me that before though. But it means but, that, <laughs> and then you know not it means that you became prettier and you bloomed over yeah. the years. So and it means that my nose is nice. I know. <laughs> it means your nose is exactly. Yeah. If they think that you had it done, it means yeah. it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I know, but you know you can look better and you look can you can look um non without doing without having to do surgery yeah. non-invasive the right? yeah. but you know what doc to be honest like one thing i really don't understand you know is that why is there such a stigma when it comes to like plastic surgery True. Right? It, i mean this is i, I don't know i'm yes <laughs> <laughs> go ahead go ahead go ahead no, it's just, i i don't understand why it's such like why people see it as a bad thing and okay. people use it against people who yeah. actually do it. Diba, parang, like, you can't really, you can't really hit on a person who wants to improve how they yeah. look and who wants to, you know, wants to look good. Because I, I see it all the time. Yes. Like, every time someone, someone is on the news because they got something done, I mean, people are always bashing that person and saying, I retokada, I get it to know Why is it a bad thing? It shouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, if anything, like, it's none of your business. True. They wanted to do it. I mean, it's their body. Totoo. And then you can have it. You can have it. You can have it. You know, I really just don't understand that. And I don't, I honestly don't see it as something bad. It's really just none of your business. I agree. I don't think there's anything wrong with plastic yeah. surgery if it will make you feel good about yourself. Exactly. Give the confidence that you need, or it can help you with your work. Yeah. Or it can, deba. Right? Yeah. What, what's wrong with it? Yeah. So you, you also agree, Nats? There's nothing wrong with plastic yeah, surgery. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm telling you again, this is Sabina and I just trying to defend yourself. No, I haven't had done my. I had my nose done. And if in the future you need one, you wouldn't. I. I would tell you about Yes, it. <laughs> and it's something that you won't really. But I mean, it's not something that you're frowning upon. It's something that you're open to. Yes, doing, right. Yes, that's all I'm saying. But I'm just happy when people say you look good because at least we're doing a good job. Yeah. And it's something that. Yes. And the good thing about it is, it also is a doctor-patient relationship. Yes. The doctor can also do a better job if the patient is uh, adventurous and willing yes. to try a lot of treatments and. One thing about it, whatever we do, naman, Nadine, we show it. Naman, yeah. Yeah. Nadine is not about to hide what yeah. she does. We always show, show it naman, in yeah. social media. So, and what I love about Nadine is she's not here to hide what she did. Yeah. But she's open about and it's some, it. And if it's something that, you know, that makes me happy or that I'm proud of, like if it's a change that I'm proud of, of course I would share it to yes, everyone. Because, yes. you know, whoever wants it done as well. And you're helping you someone know, also. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I don't think there's any reason to hide because it's nice to be truthful. At the same time, you might help somebody. Yeah, exactly. Diba? By sharing. Diba? Yeah, exactly. And it also makes you more real as a person. Yeah. And one thing about Nadine, she's really real. Yeah. She's a real person. I'm really not gonna lie to you. I know. I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, so to Ayan, that's what I love about her. I think we're done. So yes. what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go on and start the treatment. Yay! Finally! Oh, I know, that was a long I know, that was I a long time. Thanks, Nadine. Thank you for uh, sharing. And I really feel I got to know you more. Yeah. Right? yeah. And uh, it's nice. <laughs> I'm like your ate. Yeah. Oh, right? Right? <laughs>
Diba? You wrap it. We'll finish it off with... Oh my god. Are okay. we gonna finish all of oh, this? Nah, no, you don't have to. Okay, okay. So cheers <laughs> now for 2021 for a better... Diba? A better 2021. Yeah. yeah. And cheers to our womanhood. <laughs>